Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia and Spain. Nature, we knew nothing. Now, after two years, we slowly can open our eyes and start seeing something, although very limited still. We know when it rains, it's wet. We actually wanted to learn more than that. How to channel the water and how to use it. But slowly, slowly we're getting there. This is the second rose garden. And it just happened that this very top canal of water uh, exits here when I was here uh, at 2 a.m. the water ran in here watering these roses that was special then uh, that time of the night I blocked it up here because I didn't want more water going to the creek I wanted to exit on the other side this is the newest swell we have on the land 24 hours old and usually we fill them immediately with some organic material this one we haven't had the time it's good to see what it looks like. The water came down here. From this point. It's interesting, all the harder spots with with either very compacted clay or stone it's higher but that's fine we don't need it absolutely level as long as the top of the well whole swale is on contour then it's fine some debris came down here and then i thought let me take the water here towards the garden because I have also started the same swale as we have there. I've started here where Luna is, that part to flow in there. This canal was also, or this swale was also full. There was some obstruction here where the roots are with all the leaves because we had strong winds so I just opened a little bit deeper below the roots and then it worked fine. This canal system was not breached in any place <laughs> it is a delightful surprise according this pattern of the soil here there was quite substantial uh, flow I thought this was a weak spot, but it worked well. And the water came over here. I would do that origin. And here it becomes more narrow again, just a tiny canal. And 
as I was working on this water flow, suddenly it stopped. And then the uh, beginning of that tube fell off because there is now an obstruction, so it the water carved away the earth below it. This is where my structure was. So I had to put in much longer uh, rods there. And then it started all over again. Exciting. Now I can even take my tools home. Some water came down here as well. Um, this was, this gabion blocked it right to that height where the stones are. Good job. This one directed a lot of water this way, what I wanted. Um, <clears throat> it still allowed water to flow through because this is just a uh, temporary plastic sheeting we have here. That was also fine. The sediment trap and a tiny dam full. Then here it did not go 100% according to the plan. Um, it only filled up halfway and because there's a lot of branches and sticks in here it actually went through there, surfaced a little bit further and went towards that way. I wanted to come here the higher way and then flow here. But it was not that much water and we can get some more clay in there. Come on, get yourself out. Yes. Come, good for you. Only the second time that some dog went in there and it's always sky. We planted many, many kilos of seeds here, lots of vetiver and um, because much less water coming down here, I thought I can actually make some alterations. This is actually hollow on the inside because of all the branches, so some water did reach here underground. And uh, I thought maybe in the future when I'm bored and I have nothing to do to have some form of system here where I can switch the water between going that way or this way. Um, I will be delighted if this swells here are fed from water higher up than from the erosion gully. I don't actually want water to come here, down here anymore, or not much. So, another piece of food for thought. This well was full, a lot of water that flow past here. And it's another place where I can perhaps exit it to go lower because here it opens up into the creek. This is the bottom of the creek. This is the fence line in the north, the lower part of the land. These two leaky weirs did well. Perhaps it's too leaky. I can add more sand there where it the water goes through. This is the daily report back about creek water spot. 
still some flow. These rock structures, they held their place. That's good. There's another rock structure. It's also still intact. And then uh, the beaver dam, I adjusted it a little bit in the middle of the night, but it worked very well. In the Zulu language of Southern Africa, there are many words for green and I can understand because we are here only two years and uh, this is the greenest I've seen it but there are many kinds of greens and it's interesting the green of the trees have changed because um, a lot of new growth because there was some rain last year the, the uh, leaves were already dark green and uh, this year they are light green you can see the difference here between the colors so even the trees look lighter this was also an interesting scene in the middle of the night. I could not even get in here because it was too deep. My sluice gate worked well. I removed that plank over there and then uh, the water went that way. But it worked so well that it went around the pipe and uh, I actually did foresee that and uh, this is the summer job to have a permanent installation there and then a lot of sand came through here when I had that open and uh, it's cute it's actually quite heavy it's a steel plate and as the water dropped this also dropped okay excellent uh, we expect more rain today i will do something with that before the rain comes we have already received almost 300 millimeters this calendar here and the whole of last year we received 350 millimeters we are happy the pond did not receive water from the creek I diverted it before it could reach here but some water did come down these little furrows I made and uh, it's quite full and uh, experiments are continuing to see how high we can peg this uh, spillway another two hours some more rain we are ready thankful blessed have a great day Goodbye.